It looks like Jack in the Box got an amazing idea. But I wonder from where. Hey, what's good, Schmack Pack? We are back at Jack's for, I mean, it's been a while. It's been a little bit, and they got something new that caught my eye, but it didn't catch my eye because it looked amazing, although it does kind of look amazing, but it caught my eye because it looks just like Wendy's. Although with my experience with Jack in the Box burgers, it's not gonna be quite as good as Wendy's, at least when it comes to the quality of the meat. But maybe the bun's gonna be amazing. Maybe the whole thing's gonna be amazing. It has some good stuff on it. And to be honest, I did try out the Wendy's one a couple weeks ago, but when I did try it out, it wasn't on camera and I did have COVID and it tasted disgusting. So, <laughs> you know, take that with what you will. So that's what I'm comparing this to. <laughs> In the back, we got some napkins, of course. Mm. We got, oh, we got, oh. We got, oh, we got barbecue sauce, of course, of course. Now this combo right here, you know, the basic one, the regular schmeckala, $6. Normally, well, not normally anymore, but they used to be back in the day, back in my day, $5. But this time we got it right here for six bucks. Large french fry looking good. Ooh, so hot, what's this? So hot and crispy, leave no fry behind. See, this time, they ain't lying. Let me try this out. Oh, bro. Mm. It's hot. Mm. It's crispy. Mm. There's more in the bag. Oh! Okay. I'm liking it. Look, the lid doesn't even want to close. Feels heavy. Feels heavy. Mm. Let's see what we got inside. Oh! Why'd they put it sideways, though? But. Ooh, that bun's looking nice. Hold on, pull this thing on out. Oh, bruh. Oh, bruh. Oh, bruh. Hold on, bruh. Bruh, I got the hookup today. I only ordered the single regular Schmegla for $6. Looks like they hooked it up and gave me that $8 joint right here with the double action on deck. Take a look at this. We got the double meat patties. We got that cheesy ranch, that actually sounds pretty good. Cheesy bun loaded up top and bottom. I think this definitely has more cheese than it did at Wendy's, but I can't really remember. That was sick and everything, so who knows. We got this big chunk of lettuce, not looking too great. Got these nice tomatoes, two of them. Got bacon, two slices, count them, two slices of cheddar cheese. Oh, look at that. Cheese pull right there. Oh boy. I wanna try some of this ranch though. I wouldn't say it tastes, yeah, it's like a hint of cheese, but you know, pretty much just tastes like some ranch, but I'm pretty excited. I got the hookup, the double joint in this baby. Oh, so yeah, last look guys, it's about to get devoured. Full 360. Oh, this thing's looking actually a lot better than I was expecting. It looks really greasy too, but we got lettuce on it, so it's healthy. Mmm. Mmm. Bro. That's any one of those napkins, of course. Bro. Mmm. That bite was actually pretty good. Had a lot of flavor. You could definitely taste the cheese on the bun. The ranch came through a bit, and all the flavors from the bacon and everything was so good, I couldn't taste the meat. But now afterwards, after, you know, got through all that, I could taste the meat and it does taste like Jack in the Box. Oh, a lot of lettuce here. Mmm. Oh my gosh. This bun literally tastes exactly like a cheesy bagel. If you've ever had a bagel that looks like this, it tastes exactly the same, but fluffier on the inside, not all dense like a bagel. Mmm. Oh, it's actually pretty fire.
Hmm. Well, I was gonna say this is definitely worth six bucks, but it's like the eight dollar version right here. So, you know, not bad. I mean, it has the two large patties instead of the small ones. And it's good. Like, I like this one. Granted, I could barely taste anything when I tried Wendy's, but this one definitely tastes cheesier. Now, that's not saying much. I can really taste anything, but I don't know. I'm going off of that. Mm. Now, with the Wendy's one, the main thing I didn't like, the thing that tasted gross, was the bacon jam that was on it. And it's weird, because I tried bacon jam at Sonic before. It was amazing. But for some reason theirs, it could have been the COVID. That's what I'm saying. I don't know for sure. But that disgusted me and I couldn't eat it. It was so bad. This is a solid burger right here, though. I almost rubbed on my fries. Hold on, bro. Mmm. You know the fries are fresh when they're still hot right now. It's been a while. Look about that bun though? Look at that bun. And look at the healthiness that is tomatoes. Surprising amount of bacon on here too. Mm, that cheese. A lot of meat to get through. And just like that, we're down to the last bite. Bruh. Mmm. Mm. All I'm saying is that was the best burger I've had from Jack in a minute. It was cheesy with the cheese in it. It was cheesy with the ranchy cheesy mix. Not too cheesy right there. But then the bun tasted just like a cheddar bagel. 
on point. Smell just like it, taste just like it, look just like it. Just the inside was fluffy like a bun. That was on point. On a scale one to 10, I gotta say Jack in the Box, all new cheddar loaded cheeseburger of the double variety. I gotta say a hell of schmacks, it was real good. I mean, it didn't really taste like Jack in the Box too much. You could taste the Jack in the Box meat. However, with everything else going on with all those flavors, mm, enjoyable experience, I'll tell you that. Oh, man, that was good. I'm so glad they hooked it up with that double because, I mean, a single, it probably still would have been good, but that double, I think it had more. Actually, yeah, the original doesn't even have bacon on it. Now that I remember the $6 one, no bacon, just one patty, one cheese, the ranch, lettuce, tomato, and the bun. But then for an extra $2, see, that's where they got me. I was like, $2 more for some bacon, an extra patty, extra cheese. Might actually be worth it now that I'm thinking about it. It was real good. If you guys tried it out for yourself and what you guys thought, let me know how it compared to Wendy's for you. If you guys tried it out and was actually able to taste the Wendy's one, thumbs up, right subscribe button, get that merch, social media, and I'll see y'all in the next one.